previously on Survivor Roleplay. Oh. Is your pizza still delicious? Who's put that there? Well, if he was still around, I would say Flitch. But I really don't know. It stinks! Ugh. <sighs> I'm sorry about this, Penny. It's fine, really. My main concern is why someone would do this to you. Uh, probably Flitch's brother. Does he have one? No idea, but this pile of poop suggests he may do. It was quite thoughtful of them to dump it here, really. In what way? It's free fertiliser for your fields. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's true when you put it that way. Also, I don't think these hand shovels are going to be enough to clear this up. No, I was just trying to get as much as possible out of the garden. Do you want me to help? Thanks, but no. I can think of more romantic things we can do together than clean up manure. I'll drop you off at the workshop. Okay, thanks, and good luck with this mess. Ugh. Right. Sorry, Penny. Let me help you over it. Or not. Isn't that Dennis? I'm sure that's Dennis over there. Hmm. Here we are, Penny. Uh... Dennis? How did he get here before us? That's weird. I'm sure that he was stood over at the petrol station. It was him. There's no doubt about it. Dennis, how did you do that? Oh, well, what you do is, is you open the door, you put your foot out, and then you jump out the vehicle. No, I don't mean how did you get out of the vehicle, I mean how did you get here so fast? And why are you in a police car? Oh, I don't set the speed they drive at, you know. I've been at the police station to make a statement about Flitch's death. I hope I don't get charged for manslaughter, that's all. I hope you don't too, but... I'm sure I just saw you at the petrol station. Well, you're mistaken, Win. How could I be in two places at once? He's right. It can't have been him. Have you ever seen a man that looks just like you, though? Uh, yeah. yeah. I see him every morning. When I look at the reflective wall in the house. That's you, Dennis. It's called a mirror. Oh, well. That would explain that mystery, then. Nope. Never seen anyone else that looks like me. Thankfully. Hey up, it's rush hour. It is. Peter, how are you doing? Alright, Wynn. Now then, Dennis, I need to speak to you. What were you doing in my yard last night? Eh? What are you on about, Woody? Ah, oh, don't play games with me, Dennis. I know exactly what you were doing. You are opening up all the gates for the cows. Why do you want them to escape? What have you got against me all of a sudden? Hey, what is all this? How many more times do I have to tell you all? I've been at the police station since yesterday afternoon. They picked me up just after I was speaking to Wynne, when I was trying to add security to the farm. This is weird. You don't think that's the same person who dumped the manure on your drive, do you, Wynne? What, you mean somebody's trying to impersonate Dennis? Well, it's possible, I guess. We need to stay vigilant. If I see them again, I'll spy on them and try to get a closer look. Won't that seem a bit strange? Hmm, <laughs> you're right. In that case, then I'll just walk past them and say hello. I'll get a good look at them, and I'll see if I recognise their voice. Anyway, I must get on. Yes, you must win. That's why I'm here. You've got some sheep arriving this afternoon. What? Oh, I wish you'd given me more notice, Peter. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. There should still be some grass to cut for them. I'll be back in a few hours. I've just brought this tractor if you need it. Oh, thanks. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess the top field will still have some good grass in it. You'll be working the field next to me, then. <laughs> yes. I'll come and see you when I've got a few minutes at lunchtime, Penny. Aw, thanks, Wynne. Here we are, Penny. That saves you having to walk. See you, Penny. Right, OK, so this field on the left-hand side here is going to have to be cut. In December, quite crazy, but there is still plenty of grass there because it hasn't actually been cut all year. So, well... 
Peter has very kindly brought the John Deere for me to use, so I will use that. Dennis is looking at the uh, cows over there. Uh, where should we park this? Just over here, I guess. Yeah. Right, off we go. It's really good that we have this because it means we can use the front and the rear mower at the same time because uh, we've got front 3.0 linkage and PTO. And we do still have the mowers here, so this will be nice and easy. But we've got the windrow as well, and of course, bale. Let me just go a little bit closer. There we go. Right. And this is the part I always hate, squeezing in here to get the PTO shaft on. Okay. And now for this one. I guess I should actually have a better place for these. And keeping this equipment outside is not good. Okay, we're done with that. I'll fit the rest of the shaft once it's unfolded. But no, it's really, really weird. I'm convinced that that was Dennis at the fuel station. But it can't have been. It's just physically impossible. He wasn't even stood with a police car, so... That is a mystery. That is weird. He has somebody who looks just like him. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That is, the, that is just the biggest mystery ever. Hi, Penny. <laughs> right. Okay, so it is quite a squeeze getting into here now, since that building has been put up. But it's possible. We're all good. Right. Unfold the mowers. Get all the PTO shafts on. There we go. No guard for that one. But having the front mower just makes all the difference. Yeah, it's still really long grass for this time of year. It's fine. Engage the PTO. You can actually see the blade tip spinning. And the same with the front one. And we're off. Yes, I'm very pleased and grateful that Peter has given me this tractor to use. It's actually going to generate a lot of grass, this. I don't know how many sheep he's bringing, but... Well, it should last for a very long time. And I've done nothing with this field. I haven't actually fertilised it or anything. <laughs> yeah, we've just been so busy with everything else. But the fact that it is just generating grass like this is lovely, without having to put any effort into it. I guess that is the beauty of the UK. It's just perfect for growing grass it is the optimum climate for grass growing We're down to the final triangle. The tractor and the mowers are both working very well to get this done. And I think, what is it now? It's, oh, it's quarter past 12. So we will head off to the shop to get a bit of food. Probably buy a penny something as well. Uh, and also we can uh, swap tractors. Don't think we need to keep this machine going because it's only a small windrow. So we could put it onto we actually could put it onto the 1200. Right. Let's take that switched off and fold it up. 
and we need to squeeze out of here if we can do. Yep, such as bike is still there. I think the police have been uh, looking at it. Right, so we'll leave this tractor here. I actually do still have the drill on the 1200. We will be drilling, of course, in the spring, but that's a little while away, so I think we'll take that off and we'll put the windrow onto here. But I'm not going to fit the windrow until after lunch. Normally I would just bring a pack up, but today with that manure being dumped there, I just didn't have time I'm trying to clear a path through it. I'm not really trying to think about who's done that because it could be anyone. Literally anyone. I have no idea. It's a very Flitch thing to do though. Maybe Flitch does have a brother. That's a scary thought. I wonder if he's just as weird. Like, pull those hoses out there. Okay. So there's the Windra. It's a very small one, actually. But it'll be fine for that one field. So, let's head off. Let's go and buy some food, and I think I'll buy Penny some chocolate. I know she likes chocolate. If I'm not mistaken, her favourite type of chocolate is milk chocolate, so we'll get her some of that. It needs to be in the good books. And I'm sure I'll be buying her dinner again tonight. Right, Dennis's vehicle is there, so if we see it anywhere else, then I'm going crazy. Okay. Actually, it's all really quiet here now. Uh, and there's definitely nobody who looks like Dennis. I don't think. Nope. Right. Let's get some food. Ah, lovely. Right, so I've got a sandwich, some crisps, some fruit, and some chocolate for Penny. I think Penny did actually make a pat lunch this morning, so she shouldn't need anything else. Except for chocolate, of course. Nice little treat for her. Um, but no, I think my, my work here is done. I'm not going to ask these people if they're called Dennis. They're all women. Right. Penny's probably already on lunch break. Oh, looks like she heard me coming. Okay, let's just stop off here and have a chat with her. Hi Penny, lunchtime. I've actually uh, got you a bit of a treat. I know you've got a packed lunch, but here you go. Oh, that's a surprise. Milk chocolate, my favorite. Thanks. I don't suppose you saw our mystery friend whilst you were there? Uh, no. Sadly not. That's a shame. How are you getting on with the grass? Slowly but surely. We're getting there. I really wish Peter wouldn't just dump stuff on me like this, though. Yeah, he's a bit hard to understand. At least my business is making enough money to pay the rent now, though. Absolutely. Anyway, I'd love to keep chatting with you, but I do need to get on, unfortunately. Me too. Have fun with the sheep. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And enjoy the chocolate. Just trying to stuff my face here while driving. I haven't really got time to stop. Right, I'll park my Land Rover over here. Keep it out of the way. And we'll stick this on the back. Oh, the amount of PTO shafts I have to deal with today. Hate doing them. And then we'll unfold it and unpack it and everything up at the field. It's one of those manual ones. We've got to put all of the rakes on manually and then put the pins through. Alright, let me just get my gloves. Let's unfold that. 
Ah, a bit of manual labour for me. Got to take all those off and put them onto these. Done. Right. That's how we go. Let's rake. I should probably go the other way around the field. And I'll start from the corner. That would make sense. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get onto baling today. I'll probably go and attach to the baler. But baling is probably a good job for the case tractor. Then we're using every tractor in this field. Looking good. Yeah, then we come back in the opposite direction and we'll put another swath into this swath. Make it twice the size. I must say, we, we have very good steering with this at 1200. The articulated steering certainly makes it easy. Yeah, it means we can turn very tight, but also makes it a little bit trickier to stay in a straight line. Work my way down the field, and we're now on the, the final piece here. Yeah, it does the job fine, just a little bit slow. But as it is just the one field, it doesn't really bother me at all. So we'll take this back to the yard, and I think we will. We'll go and attach to the baler. This grass doesn't want to be sat around, that's for sure. The last thing we want is for it to start rotting because it's already pretty wet it's not the time of year to be doing this okay right i'm just gonna have to uh pack it up right oh here's dennis probably bothering penny yeah looks like it well better jump out all right dennis what are you up to is he stopping you from working penny what are you doing dennis uh, well, just having a look around the pencil case, to be honest. Not many hammers around, I've found. Now, Penny uses professional tools. Oh, uh, well, you can always use a hammer. That's true, yeah. You do need a hammer sometimes, but not for everything. Oh, what rubbish. Anyway, Dennis, <laughs> I must get on. I was just stopping to see what you were doing. Oh, well, not a lot, clearly. Okay, well, I'll be back to pick up Penny in a few minutes time once I've got the baler sorted out and yeah Dennis is just being Dennis I guess <laughs> just being nosy now this windrow can go in the same shed as where it came from it's fine it usually lives at Peter's farm actually but yeah no problem with putting it with the bales what on earth Dennis ah oh, nothing like a nice run Uh, excuse me? In this is private property, don't you? Excuse me? Oh, looks like Wynn's talking to himself again. By heck. Oh, I didn't know I was so good looking from the back. 
Who is this, Dennis? I don't know when you asked him. I've tried. Blimey! What are you doing here? And why are you dressed like Dennis? 